Hello guys, welcome back to Saska channel. One more video about the DJI Tello and the remote control. Um, I'm gonna show you today how to calibrate this baby here. Uh, in the previous video I showed you how this baby crashed because this remote, the actual mm -hmm. uh, control that uh, controls the left and the right was uh, out of whack so I nearly crashed my Tello into a canyon I was scared so today I'll show you how to calibrate this thing all right, all right. okay <clears throat> so the first thing you need to do is download the TD T1D remote tool so you go to app app store go to the app store and I already looked into it it's T1D upgrade tool T1D upgrade tool, I already have it uh, downloaded, so you just need to open and then it will tell you to search for controllers. Okay, this time you have to turn on your Bluetooth controller, all right, but you need this application. All right, so let's go for it. Okay, so this is our remote controller, the T1D remote from Gaming Sir. So the thing is, we're just gonna power it on, so it's gonna start emitting Bluetooth. You can see it's on now because the blue or well, these uh, blue lights are flashing so now we're gonna go to our app and link to it all right okay so now let's go to the app t1d is over here on the right side t1d and then you're gonna go to click on search for controllers Searching, see it does it connects right away, and uh, you'll see on the remote that the uh, blue lights are stop flashing. Yeah, you can do a firmware firmware upgrade. I'm gonna do that. See what happens. It tells me um, in the last and uh, the last version. So now you're just gonna go to the joystick button calibration. Okay. What I saw in my accident uh, is that when I control C, you see on the left side, on the right side. The right side, the plus button was shifted to the right. Even though just press back, and we'll do it again. See that plus sign on the right side, on the right uh, button, it was, which controls the left and the right. It was all the plus sign was all the way to the right. So every time I power on the uh, Tello, it will shift completely to the right. Let's do this and follow the instructions. So let's do back and then okay joystick button calibration okay you just press go to the left tells you to go clockwise and move right now the right button clockwise okay and go save one and now it says uh, repeatedly press l2 button okay pressing the l2 button okay now the right button now the right button okay and then calibration finish you might now start the controller test okay oh yeah there you go then you controller test Ooh. okay so you move to the right the control side and then the, the left button there you go is okay up okay down okay then the you, if you press the L1 button yeah it shows up green the left to green the right one okay, if you press the right one there you go, then right two, okay. And uh, you have to be careful with the just to just make sure they come back all the way to the to the normal side. So there you go, there you go. Now close. Now is then when we have to uh, reboot the system. Okay, so we're gonna reboot the controller. Okay, let's power it off. Okay, it's powered off. In the con okay. Now, the control the app tells you that the last con uh, last connection. Okay, so make a test now. We're just gonna power on the Tello. Okay, let's power on the Tello. You press on the power button. And we're gonna connect to the Tello, and then let's connect to the Wi-Fi Tello and see if it flies properly. Okay. Okay, so let's connect to the Tello. Go to settings. There you go, not my sir, that's mine. Connects, okay, at this time, before we go into the Tello app, we're just gonna turn on the remote Bluetooth. Okay, it's 
flashing and the blue lights are flashing so it's ready to connect so we go to the Tello app okay and we go to settings Bluetooth controller settings okay you'll see your remote is disconnected click on it now it's connected okay now we're just gonna go up in the air Let's see if it works close it up and it seems like it's stable so uh, now go to the left side it's going to the left yes going to the right seems like the joystick sometimes the up and down button moves down see it's moving down so I think that button needs to be calibrated again it stays up there a little bit and then it starts going down so probably we'll have to calibrate it again land there you go landing let's calibrate it again okay let's go into the power on the uh, remote okay now the, the blue lights are flashing so let's go to the uh, controller app okay and then search click on search for controllers okay joystick pattern calibration okay let's do this one okay now it's calibrated now to the right button clockwise we turn it clockwise okay now press the L2 button, okay. Now press the R2 button, okay. Okay, now click on the start controller test, okay, and see. It seems like we have, see, now you can see on the downward button is up and down, goes down, and then you press it a little bit, it goes up, and then it goes down again. So it seems like, uh, there you go. Now you see the left button which controls the height moves downwards and then moves back up again. Haven't done anything. It seems like uh, there's something in there. Let's move it downwards. Okay, and then it goes back again to the initial position. Now it's working okay. So to the up, go up a little bit. See, let's move it down a little bit. See, keep it in there. Okay, no problem now. Up there. Okay, see now it goes downwards again. I don't know why it does that. And let's see, it stays there. So that will bring your 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 toe down. If you press a little bit, just a tiny tiny bit, it goes up again. So you know that my controller has some issues with the up and down joystick. So and then the left button is okay. Now up. So as long as you keep touching the the high button, it's not gonna do anything to your to your flight, con flight controllers. But if you want to keep it steady, after a while it will go down. See now, I guess I'll have to open and clean it up. I don't know, but let's close it again and let's do the uh, do the calibration one more time. Okay, okay. So press on back joystick button calibration okay see okay now this one okay okay press buttons you don't need to really we'll do them automatically okay all right let's do the test again let's see if it does that again so at the moment Keep looking at the left. Oh, look at that! It went down all the way. <laughs> so we know we're gonna have issues with this thing. Oh god. So at least this tool tells you that you probably have issues with your remote controller, which is crap because I didn't buy this long, such a long time ago. So and I haven't used it that much. Okay. Close. Let's do that one more time. Okay, 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 let's move the joystick as they say clockwise, okay, press the L2 button, press the R2 button, okay, 
okay let's do the testing again okay 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 then close and then get out of the app and what we're gonna do is reboot the controller see if it works okay okay we have connected to the cello let's connect to the Bluetooth remote controller okay and see how it goes this time okay so let's uh, go up and let's see if that joystick works I'm not touching the joystick seems like it's working I'm not moving the joystick so the cello is steady as you can see in the screen it's pretty steady okay let's go up a little bit let's touch the button yeah it goes up I don't know if it's gonna stay there it seems like it's staying there yes move it to the left side a little bit okay stays there move to the backwards okay it's pretty steady it's pretty steady so I'm not moving the controls at the moment it's pretty steady so it seems like the calibration has worked okay so let's go land this baby it landed okay seems like the calibration work okay this time okay guys so i just shown you how to calibrate more or less the remote the application is not very intuitive so you have to repeat the process a couple of times before you actually calibrate the uh, the remote the other thing is I suggest uh, if you're gonna fly the baby this baby outside and use the remote just to make sure before you do any crazy things that the remote responds properly and the joysticks these joysticks are well calibrated and don't do what I did last time that I went I nearly threw this thing into a canyon without checking that the remote was working okay. Thank God that uh, it, did, it did not happen and I was not able, I was able to save this baby from crashing forever. Okay, so um, uh, the thing is, just calibrate it, boot boot and test before you fly. And the next video, hopefully, I uh, will try to open the remote. I have four screws in here. I have to find out the right screwdriver to get those screws, open it, and see if by cleaning the contacts will work better. Okay? But anyway, hopefully, you learn from the video. Thank you for watching one more time. And I'll see you in the next, in the next task video. Peace.